When BMW announced the new M5, which just set the fastest time for a sedan at the Nordschliefer in the Nürburgring in Germany, I thought I'd seen it all. A $100,000 M5. Well, surprise. Those merry little yodelers from Bavaria have done it again. Welcome to BMW M3 CRT Sedan. I'm Michelle Rahal with the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. Last episode we looked at the Dutch designed Aston Martin AMV 12. Now I thought that price was out of hand, but when you compare it to BMW's new M3 CRT, why spend two million when you can spend $187,000 for a compact sedan? Well, while you're figuring out how to get that $187,000, if you like what we do, favorite us, comment, or subscribe. We always look at subscribing back. The BMW M5 was finally introduced recently, and yes, it's fast. It just set the fastest time at the Nordschliefer in Germany, all for just under $100,000. Well, not to let BMW sit idle. They've just brought out from under wraps the BMW M3 CRT, and the CRT stands for Carbon Racing Technology, or can't really think considering the price is 187 grand. And that's without the value added tax. Well, you little Rodeo Drive teens don't have to worry, it's not coming to the US, so leave daddy alone. What's this thing got that we want? The car was built using components and technology from the M3 GTS concept car, giving it a carbon fiber roof, hood, and really badass seats. But it doesn't stop there. They stuffed a 4.4 liter, 450 horsepower V8 under the hood, which is tantamount to stuffing 10 pounds of used cat litter in a five pound bag. But that's not all. This engine develops its maximum horsepower at 8,300 RPMs. That is screaming for a streetable car. This little rocket ship has a seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox that adjusts the shifting to match the engine mapping. Now, depending on which drive logic button you push, even the oil pump is electronically tethered to the engine mapping. It has a top speed of 180 miles per hour and sports six piston calipers at all four corners, and they wrap around compound disc brakes, putting it all to the ground on 19-inch aluminum wheels. Well, not to be left out, the suspension is just short of race-grade componentry, and they're manually adjustable as well as on the fly. And to let that baby breathe, titanium exhaust. And you thought you were cool with that new stainless steel setup you just bought. As much as I love this car, it doesn't make sense to me to spend that kind of money on a very, very fast, compact-sized car when we have the new M5 to ogle over at a still astounding price of close to 100 grand. And the damn thing doesn't even come with a watch. For the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you next time.